Maidon of Blue Cakes Nigeria, your amazing host on this program. It's going to be another exciting time learning a lot on baking your memories. I do hope you had a very exciting time the last time and you had tried your hands on black forest cake. It must have been very tasty. So today we're going to show you how to make a Victoria sponge cake. It's quite easy, simple steps, simple ingredients, straight to the point. So let's see how it goes. So like I said, it has simple steps, so it's not something that is too difficult. One unique thing about the Victoria sponge cake is that the core ingredients, the butter, the sugar and the flour, they are equal, 250 grams. That is how it should be all the time. So the first thing we need to do is to cream. And I've already told you what that is. Beating of your butter and sugar in a fast and consistent motion. Next up is the sugar. Yes. So we cream. You can do it manually, but at the same time, you can go ahead with your hand mixer. This is how my bowl looks, right? It is creamed. You can see it's light colored and you can see that it falls from my paddle uh, dropping consistency. Okay. So um, what we need to do now is to go ahead with beating in the eggs and you know working the other ingredients in. Now I have to specifically tell you this is a sponge cake so your flour has been sifted three times and what I advise is that while you are measuring your sieve, you continually do that and keep in mind that you still have to maintain the 250 grams as stated in the recipe. So let us mix our eggs. Four eggs. At this point, I would want to use my wooden paddle. So beat in a portion of it. You don't just pour all at once. Beat in a portion of it. Fast and consistent motion, right? Beat in a portion of it. Until it is well blended. See the vigorous motion I'm using? That's what to do. So, see that? And then at some point, once you beat in the first part of eggs, followed by two tablespoons of flour. This is one step you're gonna maintain and continue like in three, three consecutive times. So you alternate your eggs with two tablespoons of flour. So I'm repeating that again. So let's just continue like I have said until you see me put the last portion. We are down to our last portion of eggs. So, now we have our orange zest. Orange zest is just the grated rind of an orange. What's the rind? Rind is just, you know, an orange, the back okay just to put it in late terms just the back it has to be a ripe orange not unripe and then you wash it properly dry it and you grate it with the finest part of your grater so this is just the zest it's very it gives a very nice and tasty flavor my dear you need to taste it uh 
I usually like to put it at this point before I hold in my last floor. So I stir it in. Next up is actually the juice of the orange. The juice of the orange. Orange you have squeezed. Remove the seeds. Two tablespoons of it. Two tablespoons of it. Careful. One. Two. Okay. And you stay in. So it's going to be looking a little cordial at this point, but nothing major. Stay. Now, I don't want to forget that your baking powder is very ideal. Um, you can add it to your floor. You just need um, one over four teaspoon for this. Now this is a very light cake because you have sieved it like three times. The texture uh, is going to be really fluffy and very light. That's why it's called a sponge cake. Okay, I'm seeing a bit of eggs here. I'm seeing she'll be lost. Okay. So now with what we have, what we need to do is to fold in. The technique we're going to use is to fold in our remaining floor. That means we're going to do it gently. We're going to do it gently. Yeah. See that motion? Yeah. Something like so. So this is what we're going to do until we get a smooth portion. So I'm putting the last part and you see how it's going to be after I fold it in. Ah. So you can see it's getting smoother and I'm still using the padding effect. That's the folding in, it's an up, down motion, up, down motion, right? The reason we're doing this is because we are trying to preserve the air we have gotten by, you know, whisking the eggs, that we have gotten by sieving the floor three times you know because when you sieve uh, multiple times what actually happens is that air is being incorporated into uh, the ingredient the floor so we're trying so hard to retain the air so that we do not deflate the batter so now that we've gotten a smooth batter you can see we have to now put it in our prepared pans six inches prepared pans separate it as much as possible, make it equal, and then bake in preheated ovens. So I'm going to do that and you see how it looks like. Brew Cakes is the perfect hand for your birthdays, weddings, and every special event. Our baked goods from premium quality, made with fresh and healthy ingredients that are tasty and creative. You can pre-order or pick up from our ready-to-go cakes. Our products are such a delight and freshly baked. Get more than a little glaze in every bite. Delicious to the last piece. Place your orders through WhatsApp or call 080-8939-8940. We eager to deliver excellence. Taste blue cakes, premium cakes only. Oh hey, I'm Jessica Kyoja and I'm a voiceover artist. I'm also a singer, songwriter, soul gospel recording artist. Simply put, I'm the voice. And I use my voice in all of its entirety to full capacity for the service of humanity. Jackpa hustle, lies, trafficking, greed, power. This now migrants as messengers production. Jackpa hustle, the series. If you must waka, waka well. Tune in to Wazopia Max Television for Takot UHF 57 every Friday by 7.30 p.m. If that one no do you, you feel touch like us for our YouTube channel, Blue Cakes Nigeria. I beg for sponsor. Glory Hallelujah is the maiden edition of the All Star Church Women of What Annual Conference tagged modern. Like what you hear? Whatever your script is, documentaries movie trailers 
commercials, animes, or audiobooks, I bring your scripts to life. So, do you have a message for the world to hear? Let me be your voice. Reach out to me on these social media handles or 070-6202-2799. I look forward to working with you. Bath signs with two separate uh, pans, and this is just how I level it. Just level it. Now remember, your oven is preheating. Your oven is pre preheating, and this bakes for just about 45 minutes. So I'm going to pop this in the oven, and then you see how it turns out, and I'm sure it's going to look good. So our uh, Victoria sponge cake is out and it's cold and there's a particular way that it can be served. Now on the caption you're going to see the full details even on the video of this recipe. So you can have a filling in between the two layers. You can either use spread jam but what I have here is buttercream. You can also use buttercream. Okay? You can use buttercream. You can then sandwich it. Look at that, nice, 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 nice. But you know what I'm saying is nice now because there's a part where, you know, I have to taste it. So let's just dig in and see how it eats. Don't worry, from time to time, some of you get to win the opportunity to join me on the show and then you can have the privilege the rare privilege of having a taste I'm just a, take a small part to let's not be as if I'm too greedy mm. excellent now you see the texture very spongy very light crumby and all that that is what to expect it's supposed to be very light texture okay and then the whole um orange zest this is the flavor you get superb flavor don't just you know do yourself not to try this this is very nice and it's very easy to make and the recipe equally easy to remember. So last week I told you that we're going to show you our winner, you know, and we told you, I uh, called her the other time. So uh, her name is Ogene Keru Perry, Bonnie's Taste. Uh, she came uh, to the office, the bakery, and it was quite warm seeing her. So keep up with us it's going to be much fun so i'm sure you enjoyed me because i equally enjoyed myself so until next time on baking memories i'm actually going to cakes nigeria you're on me both posts <laughs>